everyone, it's Shannon here for Honey Bee Stamps. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a really fun watercoloring technique, a very fun and easy watercoloring technique that we're going to use to create not one, but two cards using the Lovely Layers Greenery dies. We are going to start with the Lovely Layers Greenery Honeycut set. This is a really gorgeous set. I've chose to use this set of leaves here, kind of like eucalyptus almost. And I'm going to go ahead and die cut three of them out of Bristol paper. Bristol paper is a really smooth paper and it's going to allow our ink to really move and play over the surface when we add water. I'm going to be using Tombow dual brush pens to color these die cuts. Uh, these uh, markers are have a water-based ink in them. They're very intense, which is why I love them, but you can use some other water-based markers. You could use a Zig's Clean Colors. You could use Distress Markers. You could probably even just apply Distress inks directly to the die cuts themselves. Just take that ink pad and apply the ink that way as well. Just got to get some ink and preferably some intense ink down on to these die cuts. And again, I love these Tombow dual brush pens because the colors are so bright and intense and they move a lot with water. So any, any water-based ink will move when you add water to it. So now I'm going to move on to kind of the fun technique. So we've colored these. I have another A2 panel of Bristol paper here, and I'm just going to place my colored die cuts right on top. Arrange them in a pleasing way, and also I have them overlapped a little bit in some areas. Now grab my spray bottle and just spritz those die cuts with that water. That water activates that ink. You can already see that ink moving around. But to get just to have a little bit more control, I grabbed my Rocket Air Blaster here. This is actually used for cleaning camera lenses, and I am blowing that ink around just to kind of fill in more areas and just get that color spread out a little bit more evenly on the panel and this also I can use it to kind of mix colors as well it's a really handy tool often used for alcohol inks but it's fun that you it's pretty cool that you can use it with watercolors as well so I'm going to let that panel dry completely and now that everything is dry I can go ahead and remove my uh, die cuts which have worked like a mask and created a beautiful silhouette on to that watercolor background but have also were the agents of delivering the color. So that's pretty cool, kind of two for one here. Now I did spritz some of these die cuts once more, just a little bit with water in a couple areas because of the overlapping of the die cuts on the panel. They didn't get water there, so I just spritzed them and moved the ink a little bit with the paintbrush and then let them dry. And here they are completely dry. Now we're gonna move on to trimming down this panel. I have the A2 double stitched frames here. Grab the largest die from that set and just trimmed down or die cut this panel down and really framed it up so I have the best part of that panel. Now I'm going to move on to creating my sentiments. I'm going to use the U Buzzwords die set and use the smallest U here and die cut two out of black cardstock. Then I'll use kind of the shadow layer for that U and die cut it twice out of vellum, one for each of the black cardstock U's. Then I'll just grab some honeybee precision glue, add some glue to the backside of each one of those cardstock stock use and adhere them on to that shadow layer of vellum. That shadow layer will be just a nice kind of buffer or a nice way to help your eye separate the sentiment from the background. So just a great way to make that sentiment pop a little bit more. Okay, so now that I've glued those down, I'm ready for my sub sentiment. So I have the U Buzzwords stamp set here. I'm going to grab a couple sentiments from that set, some of the linear sentiments from that set position them on to some black cardstock and I am going to heat emboss so I did apply some anti-static powder. Now I'm inking up the sentiments with clear embossing and watermark ink from Honey Bee Stamps. Then I will pour on some white embossing powder and then I will heat set with my heat tool. Once these sentiments are heat set, I then went ahead and trimmed them off camera with my X-Acto knife and a ruler. And now we're ready to actually wrap this up. So I have two A2 top folding white card bases as well as my panel, my watercolor panel background, and my three leaves or my three sets of leaves. I'm going to go ahead and add some foam adhesive to the backside of that watercolor panel to add a little bit of dimension. Then I'll remove the backing on it and center it on the front of one of 
of my A2 top folding white card bases. Once I have it centered, I'll stick that down. Then I'll move on to the actual die cut leaves. For those, I'm gonna grab my liquid adhesive again, but this time I'm just going to add the adhesive down the stem of the leaves. So that thin stem, I'll just add it down there. I don't wanna actually adhere the leaves down because I wanna be able to have the ability to kind of pop them up a little bit for more dimension later. So I just glued down my last leaf here, or really the last stem, and now I'm ready to move on to those sentiments. So I've already gone ahead and added foam adhesive to the backside of both of my sentiments, the script DU as well as the linear sub sentiment. I'm just removing the backing of the foam adhesive and sticking those down. First, sticking my sentiments down onto that watercolor panel. Now I'm gonna move on to my die cuts. Again, you, removing the backing from the uh, foam adhesive on the script to you and then on my sub sentiment as well. And I've just placed this sentiment right in the center kind of of the card. And I'm almost done here. The last thing I'm gonna do is kind of pop up some of those leaves to just add a little bit more dimension and interest. I really love that just a little bending of it. It adds so much character. And here are the two finished cards. I'll hold it to the camera so you can get a good look at all the details of these cards. This technique is so fun and easy and I love the results. This background is gorgeous. It's so cool how the die cuts worked as a mask for watercoloring, that's just such a cool technique, and also uh, applied the color, or added the color to the background, which I think is really cool. And then by spritzing the actual die cuts themselves, the color on the die cuts mixed as well and created such beautiful blends over those die cuts as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's cards and video. If you have any questions about the products I used, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.